Hey there, welcome everybody. Um, my name is Trey Hitt and I would love to welcome you to LOL Fall 2020. Create and publish your very own coloring book. Um, real quickly, I'm just going to tell you about myself a little bit and then we'll get right back into what we're going to be doing over the next few months. Uh, my name is Trey Hitt. Uh, you may remember me from LOL in person. Oh, I guess it's been a year now. Um, I was the, uh, the uh, balding middle-aged white guy that made coffee every week for your parents, maybe you, maybe your little brother and sister. And so thusly, I am responsible for them being all hyped up on caffeine on Thursdays. Uh, but since we are now in the zombie apocalypse, we are doing things differently. I am coming to you well, normally live, but right now, today, recorded from beautiful Oaxaca, Mexico, which is in southern central Mexico, um, from the, uh, well, the princely height of about 5,600 feet. So um, we're way up in the mountains. You might see some mountains behind me, and well, you can see laundry, too. Well, in Mexico, we don't. Anyway, that's got nothing to do with the course, um, but this does. Over the next 12 weeks, I am going to work with you to get ideas out of here and onto Amazon. We are going to create a coloring book. We're going to create this coloring book from uh, stories that are in your head and pictures that you've taken with your phone with your camera. Um, we're going to digitize those pictures. We're going to turn them into black and white images. We're going to add words to the pictures and we are going to create a coloring book. Not only that, but we're going to also publish that coloring book using Kindle Direct Publishing, which is Amazon's um, uh, book publishing arm. And so by the end of the semester, you will be a published author. It doesn't make you taller. It doesn't. I mean, it doesn't. I wish. But you're a published author. Come on now. That's actually kind of cool, right? That's a little bit cool. Not only that, but you'll be able to sell your coloring books to friends, family, adoring fans, um, all of these things. And hopefully, hopefully it's going to get your creative juices flowing and get them again out of your head and into the publishing. Now, at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen here. Boom. So this is me published author on Amazon. And this is one of two books that I have um, published on Amazon right now. Throughout this course, I'll be publishing my third, maybe third, fourth, and fifth um, books about Frida Vochita. Um, Frida is my 2001 classic VW Beetle. And quickly, you may say to yourself, but wait, Beetles are hippie things. They're made in the 60s. Again, I love, I live in Mexico, and in Mexico, they made this style VW Type 1 sedan until 2004. My sedan, um, whom I have lovingly named Frida Vochita. Um, Frida, like Frida Kahlo, the uh, famous Mexican um, artist who was married to another very famous Mexican artist, uh, Diego. Um, Diego. Um, and Vochita is kind of a play on words. In, in the U.S., uh, Type 1 VW sedans are lovingly called Beatles. In, um, in Mexico, they are called Vochos, V-O-C-H-O, or Ocho, B-O-C-H-O. And so it's just a little bit play on words. So it rhymes because, well, I'm a 53-year-old kid. It, her name is Frida Vochita. 
So I have two books published right now. The first one is um, Frida Meets Friends Everywhere. My idea was to create um, coloring books around the car and where I live in Oaxaca, Mexico. There's so much to see and so much to learn here that I thought a coloring book would be a lot of fun. So I have created two coloring books and in that, I've actually created a series of coloring books. The series is The Adventures of Frida Bochita. And the first book is Frida Meets Friends Everywhere, a coloring book about a much loved Mexican bocho. And um, here on the author page, you can scroll through a couple of pages here of the book. Um, Frida's second book is named, here we go. The Adventures of Frida Bochita, Frida Discovers Street Art. Um, and the only reason I'm, I'm going through this right now is to start those creative juices flowing in your head. Um, and so in this second series of The Adventures of Frida Bochita, I parked her in front of murals all around town and just took the same pictures and from that, um, again, digitized and here we go. Let's look at these two. I digitized and turned them into black and white pictures. And with that, I did some more nerd stuff and turned it into a coloring book. Boom. Let's see. Here she is in front of a mural that is newer than my um, than Frida's second coloring book. But you get the idea. Here's the original image, and here is the image as it would be um, rendered for a coloring book. Now, to do this, we're going to do some, some nerdy stuff. We're going to use Photoshop. Um, hopefully by now you have or you have um, Adobe Photoshop. And uh, we'll, we'll work through how to turn those images from full color, high resolution images into kind of, um, to, for lack of a better term, dumbed down black and white images that are appropriate for coloring. Um, and that's as far as the technology goes that I'm going to teach you how to do. Um, the other stuff is using some other Adobe tools, which is kind of expensive. It turns out being like 55 bucks a month to get the full Adobe Creative Suite, which isn't really fair to ask until you start making coloring books and selling your own damn coloring books, and then you can just go out and buy it for your own self. Um, but there are some things that, that I will do for you in the course, like I will create a template. The, the books themselves are eight and, a half, um, eight and a half wide by 11 tall. It's like a regular sheet of copy paper it's that size and so i have a, a special template that um that i'll create in photoshop for you but when it comes time to actually oh let me share my screen again um sorry i forgot to share my screen here we go let's go back to here so Eight and a half wide by 11 tall, again, the size of a regular, um, just copy paper. When it comes time to submit your coloring book to Kindle Direct Publishing and Amazon, which is right here, Kindle Direct Publishing, it has to be in a certain format. It, it has to be just right, like the page has to be a certain size. There's a thing called page bleed, um, which isn't when you cut your finger on a piece of paper. It's actually a, a technical nerd publishing term about how much room on that eight and a half by 11 piece of um, paper that your actual images and words are on and how much they aren't. 
um, we're going to set up a template for a cover um, for your book, which, oh, let's see if I can find that real quick. Uh, ah, here we go. You know, a certain, a certain um, template for a cover for your book, which is the front cover and back cover. We're going to learn a little bit about publishing, hopefully a little bit more than a little bit, um, and the sizes that we have to use. All right, great. Next up is how big is this book? Well, to keep it, um, let me stop sharing here again for a second. To keep it <clears throat> easy and to keep it um, doable, let's just say, we are going to create 50 page coloring books. Now, 50 pages sounds like a lot, and at the end of the day, it's actually 50 two pages because you have the front and back cover. But in, in reality, what that means is that we are going to create a story with 25 of your pictures. And so you end up with 25 pictures that we are going to digitize and make into, here we go, no, not this one. This is a bad one to, to use. Um, we're, we're going to end up with 25 of your pictures. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for 25 pictures that can create a story. And your coloring book will end up like this. So you have maybe a square picture like this. Some of the larger pictures that you have, I failed to share my screen again. This is why I need people live in here with me so they can remind me to share my screen. Here is page 14, I believe, of Frida's first book. And so you end up with kind of a square image here, um, like an Instagram square image. If it is more of a landscaped or larger image, we'll just go ahead and make it sideways on the page for coloring. But what I really want you to do is not only create a coloring book to color, but I want you to tell a story also. And so this is my story about how my car, Frida Vojita, makes friends with other Vojos around the city. And so like here on this page, which this is Frida's third friend, um, she, found another VW Beetle in the city. And this, she is parked in front of, um, oh, an old building. This is actually, yeah, this is actually the back end of uh, a church, um, Santo Domingo here in Oaxaca. And this church is about 450 years old. And so, some of these stones have been there in this wall for 450 years. Now, I just want to show you something because this is Mexico and I live in an earthquake zone. Sometimes these buildings get damaged and they have to put new stone in there. But you can kind of see um, in this image, in this picture, and I never noticed that, but there I am right there taking the picture. Um, there's, there's a lot of things to color. And so, it's an interesting way for me to tell the story of where I live and kind of express how much I really dig VW Beetles and put it against the backdrop of some really fun things. Um, here's another picture. Let's just look at uh, whatever one this is. There we go. Um, there's Freedom Making Friends with a VW Microbus that's kind of decked out like the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. Um, and so I got an idea in my head that I would be able to create a coloring book with 25 pictures of my car or other cars that are like her car um, and just run with it. And that's what I did. Um, if I want to back this up, for a year before the zombie apocalypse took us out, 
um, I actually walked around the city of Oaxaca and I took pictures of about 600 different VW Beetles. And so originally I was going to create and publish like a large um, coffee table book, a picture book. But then when the, you know, when COVID hit, all of the book publishing places and the book printing places here in Oaxaca shut down. And so I wasn't able to do that. And it just hit me that, well, I, I, I've got enough pictures to create a coloring book. And so that's what I did. So the idea in my head was to find or take 25 pictures of either my car, Frida Bochita, or other VWs in town and create a story about my car making friends with other cars. And in that also showcasing um, pictures of classic VWs that I love, and areas around uh, Oaxaca, Mexico, which I also love. And that was the idea, and that was it. And it's done, it's sealed, it's all delivered, and it's published, and you can go to Amazon.com and buy it right now. Um, I created a second book, um, all of Frida Bochita, parked um, in front of murals. I think we talked about that earlier, too. So, um, that's the idea part is so what I want from you um, over the next week. And by the time that we meet um, next Thursday, this is September 3rd, so September 10th at noon, what I want from you is an idea in your head that, that you can work toward. You know, if you already are fond of taking close up pictures of bugs, then you've got 25 good pictures of bugs, then that's great. Let's create a story about bugs and color. If you have 25 or more pictures about mountains or cars or your cat or whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's that's most of it. You know, all of the nerd stuff, I'll walk you through. We'll do it together. Um, that's that's the easy stuff. You don't sweat that. You your job is just to create. Your job is to come up with an idea, and my job is to embrace that with you and help you get it out of your head and on Amazon. It's really that easy. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again first um, before I keep talking. Where are we? Here. We'll go back to here. Another thing that I want to show you, I just want to make sure nobody else is coming in. Um, two other things I, I want to show you. Actually. Um, stop share real quick. And this is where I get in trouble because I'll forget to share. Um, one, I am recording these classes. For you. Um, I have ADD bad. And so I forget what I say like seconds after I say it sometimes. As such, um, I'm going to record these classes and I'm going to put them on a uh, special website for you and give you access to them at any time. Um, and it won't just be um, the recordings of class that we're doing live. It's going to be the templates and so you can download. It's going to share um, things that are coming up and our progress from idea to published. Um, I've got the um, I've got the website right here and uh, chat, but that doesn't really help us that much right now. But I will also be emailing you the link to the course. This is my website, uneducating.com. And here is the course, Create and Publish Your Very Own Coloring Book. I'm going to email out this link to you or your parents, whoever's email I have on file for the class. And that way you will be able to come onto the website and watch um, these videos if you need to, if you need some refreshers, or I'll also have 
some printed material in here for you to follow along and to stay up to date. It's also going to be a place where we're going to share case and, um, and share what we're doing along the way. And so this will be a, a, a pretty comprehensive um, course within, within the website by the end of our semester. And oh yeah, if you were wondering if you will be able to um, to uh, share anything for our end of semester showcase, yeah, absolutely. Um, either we're going to have it published in time for you to purchase your own um, author copy for a couple of bucks and have it sent to you, or we can quickly, very quickly, create an ebook and print it from the printer, and you can showcase it from there. Um, that's about all I have this week. Um, and, and yeah, it's short, it's shorter, it's only a half hour, but I had nobody else to ask questions or banter with. And so there I am. I will email out the website. Um, and that will have access to to this recording and i will um, start putting in the week one content which is going to include just a list of ideas um, that you can that you can do uh, this is great i'm really looking forward to working with you this semester I get very excited about other people's ideas and other other people's, you know, I, I love seeing the world through your eyes. Um, you know, I see I see the world through my eyes all the time. It gets kind of boring after that. So to see the world through somebody else's eyes is very fun for me. Uh, so hasta proximo semana, which is in Spanish. I will see you next week. Until then, the idea. That's all I want from you. I don't want anything else other than this is the idea that I have. Maybe come with two or three and we'll pick one. All right. Peace.